people how are you i hope you're so well i haven't filmed in a really long time the past few videos were all filmed on the same day because my hours at work have been absolutely <laughs> insane recently so i have had zero time to film any videos today i am filming the highly highly requested festival makeup tutorial for the makeup that i wore to gay pride in brighton i got so many compliments either on my instagram my snapchat in person everyone loved it so I'm gonna put it on my face, so let's get cracking. So I really need to prime my face, so I use my one heck of a blot if I know I'm gonna be sweaty. Excuse my nails, they are appalling, but again, I had to choose. Film more videos or paint your nails? Because I still have to go to work later today and I don't have time to do both. I am gonna mix my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation in light medium beige with my Double Wear Light in the shade 4.0. Um, because I need to darken this up with this last amazingly, to be honest, so does this. I just wiped my brows on because they take a while and you guys do your brows however the hell you want to do your brows i'm going to use the nyx jumbo eyeshadow pencil in the shade milk and what i'm going to do is just rub a load on the back of my hand because we're going to use this quite a lot in this tutorial who's texting me oh god tim's buying clothes and he just sent me a picture saying it's salmon not pink I'm worried. So I've just taken some on a little smudger brush from Real Technique. I'm gonna run this underneath the arch of my brow because my brows really need doing. So instead of actually doing something about it, I'm just pretending that the hairs don't exist. Now you look a little bit crazy, you wanna blend that out. Take a slightly fluffier brush and you wanna just buff that in. You are now going to want to take a light, warm-ish brown. I'm actually going to use a bronzer. This is the NYX Matte Bronzer in Deep. And I'm just going to put this into my crease. So now you want to go back in with your NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil or any white eyeliner and you want to start mapping out a wing. I just go for a really messy, kind of thick line. I don't even attempt to wing it with this. And then I take an angled brush and I neaten it up. That's just to get a nice opaque cover. Now is where the fun part starts. So you're gonna wanna get a nice amount of bright, bright eyeshadows. My favorite ones are these here from Inglot. This is a palette that I made myself, you can tell it's well loved. Um, I'll try and link the exact colors down below, but you can find similar colors like the Morphe Brights palettes and stuff like that. You don't have to get this exact color palette. And what you're gonna want to take is a light lime green. A really bright lime green and I'm gonna take this on me on me little angled brush and I'm just gonna start in the inner corner I'm just gonna do this eye on camera and then go back and do the other eye because it will just take too long then you want to take a slightly darker green just to start blending into slightly darker tones Like so, so far. Then you want to take a bright electric blue and blend that in. The reason I'm going quite thick with this colourful line is because I'm going to use a black winged liner to mask the false lashes later. I wish I used a yellow in this look, but I didn't have one on me. I've lost my yellow. Now you're going to want to take a bluish toned purple and blend that into the blue then into that purple you want to go with pink <laughs> and then go in with the red I'm gonna catch up my other eye and I'll see you in a few minutes now I'm gonna go in with a matte white any matte white that you have 
and you're gonna wanna start applying this to your lid. I don't know why I did it this way round. I just did it on the day and it worked, so I'm doing it again. Put it over the white under your brow. Then just go over all of the edges, all of the colors. You wanna make sure it's crisp. Look at my hand. Here's where we're at, guys. I'm now gonna take a liquid liner. This is the Lancome Grandiose. I don't know how to say that. I'm gonna take some concealer. This is the Tarte uh, Rainforest of the Sea concealer. It's brilliant. And I'm gonna take that little smudgy brush I was using earlier on. And you're gonna to wanna to do a little bit of tidying up. I can now conceal underneath my eyes because uh, I'm not using any more bright colours. Another reason I'm using this concealer is it lasts forever. It's just banging. And I love the look of like a super duper bright under eye with like a bright makeup look. I just think that looks, makes it look really clean. Oh, man down. Right, go in with that bronzer. You're just gonna want a little bit of definition underneath your eyes. You don't wanna lose your eyes. Right, so that's all the kind of scary hard stuff done and it actually isn't that hard or scary. I am just going to set my under eye concealer, I'm going to use the banana shade from the NYX contour kit, mixed with a little bit of the lighter shade. Continue the brightening process. Right, I'm going to go in with my white cream product, whatever white cream product you're using and I'm just going to follow just for fun and apply some in a little bit of here in your inner corner go black black go black go back in with your blender and just smooth that out I'm just gonna apply my lash sensation from Maybelline and some of the Ardell wispies and I'll be right back to finish the rest of the look the glue is just setting but ignore that so here's what the eyes look like now, I'm going to put on, where is it? I'm going to put on a little bit of blush. Just going to use a bright pink eyeshadow. And it looks intense, but I'm using a buffing brush so I can really buff it into my cheek. I'm not normally a blush person at all, but this look, I was like, just got to bring all those colours together, you know? I'm now just taking my Narzita brush and going back in with that matte bronzer and I'm just going to contour my face. I'm not going to highlight because I'm using glitter, I'm using three colours. I'm using a lilac, a iridescent white and a gold and these are all from the brand So Easy Glitter. Oh my god, these are amazing. I'm gonna start with the white. I'm gonna get this everywhere. My dad's gonna kill me. Oh well. Do it for the tube, Em. Do it for the tube. I am actually gonna spill this everywhere. Oh fuck. I'm gonna take this iridescent colour. And let's think of this as the base. Oh, I didn't tell you. I just dipped my finger in a little bit of duo lash glue. Um, to help it stick. This colour is absolutely beautiful and it attracted a lot of very friendly lesbians i am obsessed with this glitter me and my friends are going to be bathing in this at reading even if they don't want it i'm going to be like <laughs> i insist insist getting over excited here emma calm down glue down make a nice base nice and tacky and cue a shit ton of glitter Come on. I look like a glittery mermaid princess, just saying. What I loved about the glitter I did was it was had like a subtle gradient. So I'm also gonna bring up a bit of glue up to my temple. And I'm also gonna put some of this lighter shade up here. Next, I'm gonna go in with this lilac shade, which is, oh, so, oh my God. I'm gonna dab on the very tops. Get ready for this. I mean, give me strength. Oh. 
like that. Just a little, just a little bit, a little bit of purple. The grand finale, a bit of gold, which looks beautiful. You've got a little bit of a tan, you know, a bit of fake tan, real tan, whatever kind of tan you're into. Oh my god, look at it. Just gonna go in with a tiny little bit of glue right on the inner corner of my eye. Okay, be careful with this bit. Don't get glitter in your eye. Public service announcement. Go back in with your iridescent white. Oh. Okay, my friends, this is the look so far. All I'm doing now is I'm just gonna whack on a red lip because again the red just ties it all together. So I'm gonna use Max Red Dada lip liner. Whack it on. Okay you guys, so this is my finished festival, pride, any whatever, festival, rock and roll, whatever do we want, makeup tutorial. Really hope you guys like this look. I had so much fun doing it on the day, so much fun refilming it. I also got so many compliments, so I really hope you guys do too. I hope you love the look, I hope you have the best day ever. I will link as many products as I can down below, so make sure you check out some of these products because they are banging. I hope you have the best day. I love you so much. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you do. There's a button down below and I'll catch you in my next one.